Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Callie and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is her ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and little bit of motivation that we give her when we're working with her and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any little correction that's needed and the only correction that we use is a tiny tug and release on her training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Callie's going to come home with her very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that during your lesson today with Rich. Now she is sitting very nicely at Rich's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're demonstrating for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Callie heal. Now at this point she has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking. And when you stop walking she has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So the secret to proper healing is to keep her head up off the ground. She is a sporting dog so she likes to sniff out stuff. And we want her focused more on you than what's on the ground. And each time that you stop, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street, she should be sitting nicely at your left and waiting for her next command. Stay. This is your sit stay. Your sit stay when you're practicing at home is to start out at about 30 seconds and slowly over the next couple of months work up to a three minute long sit stay. She has been worked indoors as well as outdoors and Rich returns back to her. He goes back to her shoulders and before he steps off he gives her the next command. And they take off healing again. And you can do left turns, right turns, about turns. Make it challenging for her so she's focused on you. Rich turns and she stays right with him. Her shoulders don't leave his left leg. Nice automatic sits. <laughs> Rich leaves her in another sit stay. You're going to walk out and turn to face her. And this time instead of returning back to heel, he's going to call her. It's Callie come. And she is to come and sit right in front of you, facing your knees. So what we're teaching her is coming is a good thing, but coming and launching herself off of you is not a good thing. So it's coming and sitting. Come and sit over and over. Stay. Rich will demonstrate that come again. This, this is one of the two times that you use her name, Callie Come. And she sits and looks up at him for direction. And that's what you need, that eye contact, that focus on the handler. She's a smart little girl. Now the next command that Rich is going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. So with her seated at heel, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home, especially if you're practicing indoors. You're going to slowly work up to five minutes. When Rich returns back to her, he walks back to heel, and then he tells her to heel, and they take off again. Now, if Rich speeds up or slows down, she should do the same, but maintain control of herself. Left open palm, straight down toward the ground, down and stay. So you can return back to her in this or you can call her out of it. She comes in and sits. And for a baby puppy, I think she's done a really good job in a short period of time. Now this time Rich is going to demonstrate the down from a distance. Okay. So he's going to leave her in a sit-stay. He's going to turn to face her. 
He's going to use his right hand this time to give the command. And she knows this so perfectly well. This is what happens like with kids when you turn the camera on. So Rich will heal her out of this rather than getting into an argument with her. He's going to do it again. Well, the only thing that she did poorly on the video was her down from a distance, but she knows it and we'll practice it when you come today. We've enjoyed having Callie. She's been challenging, but she's adorable and she's smart. And I really think that there's nowhere that you can't go with her, whether it's hunting training or just in-home pet training. She's done a great job. We've enjoyed her. Please keep us posted with any questions or concerns. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.